Welcome in, everybody, to the Play versus High School Rocket League AHSAA Championship Finals. I'm the Doxology. Alongside me is Caribou. And today, we have a one seed going up against a three seed. The Bob Jones High School Fusion will face off against Austin High School Black Bears. And Caribou, it's going to be a great, great game. It's a championship to a best of seven. So you've always got that opportunity to kind of feel out that first game, see how it's going to go and enjoy kind of the, the pressure releasing off of that first game. We have a little bit of a technical issue coming through on Caribou's mic, but we've got a really good uh, tournament coming up. It's a best of seven series between this number one and this number three seed. So games will be starting shortly right after this.
Welcome back into the play versus high school Rocket League AH AHSAA Championship. Apologize about a little bit of technical difficulties in Caribou. Can we hear you? You can hear me, but can you see me? That's that's the important thing. Because if it's not one thing, it's the other. Like what? There's, ah! there's always something to go wrong in moments like this. And we've got a great game coming up in just a moment. Of course, it's going to be game one of this championship between the Bob Jones High School Fusion and the Austin High School Black Bears. Yeah, and as I was saying before, uh, I was so rudely interrupted with my microphone refusing to talk to me because now you get the best of both worlds. You get to see me and hear me. So I have to formally apologize for everyone that has to be exposed to this. But a number one seed that went undefeated through the regular season is looking to cap off their incredible feat through this into the playoffs and cap it off with the championship game. That is going to put a statement on the success of this esports squad. I'm really excited as well, just from the the journey that these two teams have have gone through this entire season. You know, we talked about their uh, rank ratings and and their seeding, the one and the three seed. Uh, both of these teams, though, showed up very very well in the playoffs all the way through and through. So I expect a very close tournament. Yeah, both of them matching up, twelve and two records going through the playoff bracket to get to this championship game. So right there neck and neck a one versus a three between the fusion and the black bears is going to be a great series and this game is going to give us a really good idea as to how we're going to set the pace for a championship s of seven you see bob jones the fusion in the orange and austin high school the black bears in the white 30 seconds already gone by in this game one you've got lunar Hiroki and Teal on the Fusion and Little Korean, Ja and Dahl on the Black Bears. So far, I mean, the first 45, 50 seconds has been a decent amount of back and forth. A couple of chances from the Fusion where the ball was able to then get pushed to the side. The first demo coming through. But right now, the Fusion seems to be the one trying to dictate the pacing of this game and trying to keep this ball on this side of the field. 349 remaining in this first game. Both teams really working along the midfield. Uh, no real shots on goal as of yet. You have this opportunity to kind of feel out each other, feel what, what's going to happen, playing it off the wall now. And now Lunar with the shot on Ooh. goal as that goes into the upper right to put the Fusion on the board with 333 remaining. Yeah, you just see Korean catch that one off the wall and then tried to push it upwards of the field. Instead, just a little bit too much of the nose on, sends it up into the ceiling, spikes it right back down, leaves it wide open, and a great shot there, sending it upper 90 away from the defenders. Little Korean knocks it through. Ooh. That goes off the post on a putback. And does Hiroki get it? He does. A great play by a heads up play by Teal and Hiroki right there you see him just utilize the boost to power himself through beats two defenders and into the back of the net for a two goal lead yeah and that's just unfortunate running out of boost the defenders can't get back Dahl couldn't get back in front of that one to get up in the air you saw the attempt at the backflip and the defense just caught out of position, moving a little too slow, which is unfortunately one of the things that happens when you get stuck on that side of the field. You don't get access to a lot of your boost. There's only one or two boost pads there for anyone to use, and they all get picked up, they all get taken. So you're pretty much just at the mercy of whatever the offense is trying to do. Ja now with a shot on goal. Hiroki right there to push it into the corner. 248 remaining. You see Tio working himself back through into position for defense. Jaw with a little bit of a center as that gets glanced wide just past midfield, but Lil' Korean powers that back into the corner. Goes up for a shot, can't connect with it, but Jaw is right there to play the rebound. Can he get the rebound? He gets one. Now Lunar has to clear it out for the fusion, but the Black Bears are on the attack right now. Yeah, they had a full send there up with everybody on the front side of the field, so a great chance and a counterattack from the Fusion. But unfortunately, the shot goes a little high off the wall. 
Uh, but still, obviously, Black Bear's trying to change things up a little bit, trying to get a little more aggressive. They spend some more time across midfield. They're winning their 50s and trying to find some angles where we saw the Fusion have so much success early in this game on the offensive zone. Black Bears are trying to find an answer back. 155 remaining in game one. It's a two goal game. Fusion take that first lead, and they've held it so far. Been a little bit back and forth over the last minute or two of play. You see the boost almost completely used up for the Black Bears and the Fusion. That is something we don't very often see, but the Fusion now with the boost advantage here. You see both of these teams just finding ways to apply the pressure in the offensive zone. Jaw has to get back along with Dahl. That's chipped up right in front of the goal. As that was a okay. big aerial demo Ooh. as Hiroki comes in and hammers another goal home with 116 remaining. I mean, watch just the heads up rebound as he noticed that demo. The smoke screen didn't work. He came up anyway for that rebound and got a goal. Yeah, John just got caught facing the wrong direction, trying to turn around, and then Dahl coming back from the other side was just too little too late, couldn't get there in time. Being able to be, have that awareness, have that heads up, Iroki, second goal of this game, putting up a comfortable 3-0 lead now for the Fusion. And like I said, I mean, after an undefeated regular season, this is exactly how they want to start out a best of seven series. Dahl nearly getting one back right there. That's the heartbreaker where there's just no love from the framework. He gets sent back out across the line the wrong way. Now Dahl and Lil' Korean working their way into Ooh. the offensive zone. That's a floater right in front of the goal. Ooh. And Dahl comes in to get a goal on the board for the Black Bears. 38 seconds and we still have a ball game. Yeah, Jaw just couldn't quite get the nose of that Dominus down in time. But you have the teammate following up from the back. A great setup there from the Black Bears. Just a little bit at a point of, I wish you could have done this a minute and a half ago instead of with 38 seconds left. But now at least able to get one on the board is something that they can recognize. Understand there might be a fault in the defense of the Fusion that they might be able to exploit going into game number two. 21 seconds remain as another shot Ooh. on goal for the Black Bears. They're applying a lot of pressure here in the last few seconds. That finally gets cleared out with 12 seconds remaining in this game number one. Fusion looking to hang on to it. Under five, four. Can they get one more shot? Maybe just as a consolation goal. Ball will touch down and Bob Jones High School will take game number one, three, one. Yeah, and they had a lot of really good pressure to apply early on in that game. They spent a lot of time in the offensive zone. You know, about the first 60 seconds was a lot of 50-50s around midfield, just kind of back and forth, as you said. Got to get a feel for it, understand the pacing as to what's that going to happen as this game develops. And then Diffusion really stepped up, really applied that pressure, obviously wanted to take an early lead. They got one. They got a second one pretty quickly after that. Then being able to have a two-goal insurance, that's just a point of comfortability for them leaving one slip up towards the end stages of the game that's okay you can accept that a 3-1 victory is still a victory and setting the momentum and setting the pace for the rest of this series for the fusion is good the black bears should take notes after that lone goal they did get is that there might be some opportunities for them to try to create some passing lanes try to create some tempo for their side if they do kind of maneuver around the defense and open up some holes and opportunities for themselves. Right. And I definitely think that the Black Bears have what it takes coming into this, that number three seed. However, they played extremely well throughout the season. You know, they they wrapped up with the same, you know, playoffs, of course. And, and really, I think they'll respond well here in this game too. We've seen it happen before. A team falls down in a best of seven series and then they come back quickly as that ball kind of trickled in the, a little bit wide. I thought there was a possibility that, you know, maybe they would rush down with some aggression. But now 10 seconds down already, you see Ja working his way back into the attacking zone. And this is where you Ooh. see off the post, does it go in? Oh! oh my goodness, a deflection. Little Korean now with the goal. You see him hit it right here. That was a beautiful shot off the post, off the other post. And as they try to clear it out, it looked like Lunar got too much of it, directing it towards the goal. And with 442, the Black Bears now have a one goal lead. 
Yeah, Haruk made a great save there on the initial stop, but then after that, the ball just bouncing dangerously on the line. Someone's got to do something. Lunar is doing the best attempt. There's really not much more you can do. Just try to hit it so that it's not stationary floating on the goal line. That That's about all you can ask out of that one. Unfortunate for the Fusion, that one does go across, but great for the Black Bears to strike first. Lunar had to use all his boost right there to clear that ball and stay in front of it in the goal. Uh, but a great attack by the Black Bears, and here they come again in the attacking zone. Hiroki right there to clear it out. Does he take a shot? He does. That is just wide. Ooh. Tried to get the rebound. Ooh. Jaw had to flip it up, and that could have been a goal for the Fusion as it just goes wide. And now back the other way, and this has been a back and forth game. So far, a big demo right in front of the goal with a little bit of a smoke screen, Ken. The Fusion play it off the wall now in midfield. Great shot, but Ja was right there to clear it out. Lunar moving in, goes for the shot. It goes wide. Now Ja is trying to just clear it out. A lot of boost used. You see Dahl finally with some boost for the Black Bears. Looking to rotate through with 317 remaining in this game too. The Fusion trying to keep this one going the other way and try to apply some pressure going. But this is, again, similar to what we saw out of the first 60 seconds of game number one. Good back and forth, ball spinning a decent amount of time in the midfield and then going back the other way. The Black Bears, the last 15 seconds, have spent a lot of time here. And that one, Dahl just able to bounce that one off. Teo actually get on the back side of it. So off of the backboard bounce and own goal credited. But this is phenomenal for the black bears to answer back two goals here two minutes down trying to get a game back to make this a best of five 255 remaining as that ball almost trickles in hiroki has to come up quick to be able to just clear it to the side wall but now at midfield it becomes a midfield battle great defense by jaw to get that cleared through little korean with a shot that's a bouncer right over hiroki and little korean Lil Korean just absolutely outplayed this. See him come up right here and clears it. Just a bouncing shot. A lot of control from midfield to aerial shoot. And now you've got a three goal lead. I mean, I'd say the Black Bears are up for the response. Yeah, definitely have warmed themselves up. And that started with a great 50 challenge there from Jaw. And that just is what they needed to do a little bit better is be able to win out of the midfield. But a quick answer back after the demo. A little bit too much of a commit on the outside. And Lunar just has to hit this one off the wall because you see the only defender is going to step out on that one. Dahl is going to be the one to challenge, come off the goal line, which leaves the defense open. You still haven't had your third teammate respawn yet. So that's just a good opportunity taken by the Fusion. 228 remaining in this game. Fusion trail by two goals. The Black Bears have really applied so much pressure early on. They've had some great opportunities that they've capitalized on but now lunar getting them within two goals plays it off the boards that's going to be cleared out little korean can't quite compose himself to grab it there's jaw now jaw going aerial hiroki right there Ooh. and jaw playing it off the wall staying aerial watch how clean this is i put a little finesse on that one and just being able to win that you know jaw obviously does a pretty good job at winning those 50s. You know, won the 50 at midfield to be able to set your teammate up for a goal. Winning the 50 there, just keeping the angle of the Dominus down enough that after the 50, it's still going to be going towards the goal. Ends up sneaking that one inside the post. Great control from Jaw. Low Korean now trying to attack again for the Black Bears. And honestly, they have done such a good job in applying the pressure and then rotating back on defense. Lil Green with a little redirect pass to himself. And you see how quickly things can change here in this game to, you know, finishing up game one, you know, just losing by three, one to the fusion. I'd say Austin High School has really, really stepped up and made some adjustments. Yeah, and there's been glimmers where the Fusion have tried to pick up the pace and tried to get back in that assertive role that they had in the first game in that middle stages of there. But they just haven't been able to consistently keep that pressure going the other way towards the Black Bears, where the Black Bears have struck very fast in this game. Whenever they do get an opportunity, it's very quick down and back. 
this time Lunar does finally get enough of the pacing to increase and take that one from one to the other after the double commit on the other end. Last little flip there just over the last defender. A little too much, too much on the other side from the Black Bears. I mean, we're talking about somebody who's played five seasons of played versus in Lunar, top 10 in Rocket League and every state championship land and in-game tournament that he has been there, he has completed. So Lunar is one to keep an eye on as he utilizes boost and clears that up, gets it centered to Teal, tries to pass it through. Almost a little bit of a, a, I'd say that could have been a shot on goal if he had had a little bit of help, but now Teal having to redirect it over to Hiroki. Jaw trying to clear it out. Lunar plays it off the wall and Jaw just kind of pushes Lunar out of the way. See the defensive shot on Cole Ooh. by Lil' Korean there. The defense of the fusion has been very strong these last probably 45 seconds as we run down into the final 30 seconds of this game too. And the Black Bears have just been absolutely outstanding on offense and defense. Yeah, really dictating this game, being able to step up and put up five goals is significant in the sense of trying to create some momentum for yourself after dropping the first game but yeah, yeah they've been good on both sides of the ball you know we've seen a decent amount of defensive step up of the fusion here towards the latter half of this game but unfortunately it's just a little too little too late because you can't get this player right here lunar you able to get that flicks that up off the top and an opportunity where you can potentially take that shot yourself if you're in lunar's shoes but instead, just flip it up, trying to get one of your teammates to try to finish. I, I don't know why you don't take that yourself, but hey, you know what? It's still, at the end of the day, it's not going to be enough. Well, a best of seven series now turns into a best of five, where the Fusion really came out very quick in that first game with that 3-1 victory. They played very aggressive. And then the Black Bears from Austin High School answered back beautifully with this victory here in game two. And now game three... I'm anticipating that real initial push. We're going to see a lot more demos. We're going to see a lot more physicality and probably some uh, control in the midfield that's going to push a lot more offensive attacks from both of these teams. And we're going to see who has the better defense. And I think that I would probably give edge to the Black Bears in that sense because granted we saw some good showings of defense from the Fusion, but they all just look a little bit slower paced, a little slower to the reaction time and almost stationary when you know you have someone just park, quite literally park on the goal line. I'd rather have a little more dynamic movement from my defense just try to keep things going just in case you can't be caught sleeping. You just got to be able to get a block, get a clearance, have a quick counterattack because we've seen just how fast these teams can strike. Absolutely. As game number three is now underway here in this play versus high school Rocket League AHSAA championship matchup between the number one seed Bob Jones High School Fusion in the orange and the number three seed Austin High School Black Bears in the white. The tail right there, clearing things out for the fusion. And Teo is somebody who is relatively uh, very clean at any sport you put him in. He also runs track on a competitive level. So it's, uh, it's, it's impressive to be able to balance your social life as well as your athletic life, as well as your esports life, because it takes a lot of time to be good at more than one thing. Uh, and certainly why I, I have stopped playing video games because I'm no longer good at them. <laughs> I just got to talk about them. I mean, Teo making it to the 7A state championships for track and field is an impressive feat as Hiroki now puts the ball into the back of the net from a long clear from Lunar. I mean, that might have just glanced in, but you see the pitch and catch, the good communication between Bob Jones High School and the Fusion. And now the Fusion with a one goal lead with under a minute to go or a minute gone by in this game three. And that's just Hiroki there using all the boost coming in off the back post, beating the defense back and taking advantage of the situation. Uh, Teo is another one. It's just the Fusion had a lot of opportunities in the last game with Teo, trying to get a pass off, trying to get a center to get a shot. But Teo just irrelevant, always out of boost. I mean, every time he's in position is like always out of boost. And then it just never works out for the Fusion. But when you have 
all of a sudden, the bottom three, you look at all of them with a quality amount of boost to be able to mount a counterattack very quickly. Lunar's going to be able to take that from end to end. And even if that gets deflected, even if it bounces off the wall, Teo had full boost, Hiroki had about 50 or 60. That is a play that can work out for the Fusion, and they have, again, increased their pressure on the offensive side. It's going to go back and forth wow. as Hiroki just floats that up. And nobody can quite get to it on the defensive level. You see Dahl trying to play it off the wall. And Ja really just can't get to it. So a three-goal lead for the Fusion. 334 remaining in this game three. And talk about the just the back and forth in each of these games. These teams have responded so incredibly well to the yeah. challenge. And it's looking like it's going to go game seven now. Yeah, looking like uh, this is definitely going to be a series where they're in for the long haul. Got to make sure that they have an answer as each game progresses. A little concerning. As soon as I give the Bears props on their defensive performance, you know, they have a couple of misreads, a couple of situations that put themselves in this 3-0 deficit right now on the defensive side of the ball. And, you know, little Korean trying to get the bounce, trying to get the center, but it's just not really moving anywhere. Kind of stationary, so you can't get a lot of momentum behind that one. Not a great chance to have a quality center. So the Black Bears just kind of playing a little bit out of sync compared to what they were in the last game. Good job playing it off the wall Flippy and set. with a little floater, a beautiful shot met by the defense of the Fusion. And you talked about the Fusion or the defense of the Bears. The defense of the Fusion has been impressive in the yeah. last 60 seconds of gameplay. Dahl tries to clear it out, plays it on the wall. Hiroki, with zero boost, tries to center it up, but Lil' Korean is right there now. Tao and Lunar are there for it. Lunar gets demoed by Lil' Korean, and now Hiroki bounces it to himself off the wall. That was a very clean play. We'll see if Lil' Korean can get to it as Ooh. Tao now has to go up for the block. Ja with a shot as that goes just high. Can't quite get his own rebound, but Dahl is there as well. You see Ja getting that full boost in the corner as little Korean clears it and tries to center it. A little bouncer off the wall. And Lunar finally gets enough of it to clear it all the way out. Ja, just a little touch pass. A very dangerous pass in front of his own goal. 134 remaining in this game three of this AHSAA championship series. The Black Bears reading very well what the fusion are trying to do on the offense i mean you see all three of them going over to the corner to just shut that down uh, an unfortunate part of it is that they they kind of get bunched up in in that corner but then they also answer back very quickly to get back in position to rotate back around so the black bears are, are starting to get a little bit better in that but again with a minute left you're down three goals the ball's on the right side of the field but they just haven't got anything to really formulate on an offensive attack we've seen their defense really start to stagnate what the Fusion are trying to do. Now they just got to transition to the other side. 50 seconds remaining as that ball goes high with a lot of rebounded shots. Ooh. Teo comes in and gets a goal for the Fusion to move them into a four goal lead with 45 seconds remaining. You see just the patience of Teo watching that rebound happen, watching the play develop and then coming in to get that goal. That's a big goal to really put a statement on this game three. Again, the Bears read that really well. Lil' Korean came in, was able to disrupt the first pass, but then the second one, it's just up to Dahl, just trying to guess where the shot's gonna go. It's basically a penalty kick. Like You just have to take a guess, shot in the dark. Where's this ball going? 30 Dahl seconds. Guessed high, ball went low. 30 seconds remaining. You never know exactly how some of these players can control that shot so it might go high it might go low lunar Ooh. with the shot wow. and plays the rebound oh my goodness and again korean just trying to go for the 50 just loses out on that lunar with a great read doll just tries to get up there and i think that's maybe a, a point of contention now to look at what doll is doing here because doll is getting in the air early to try to challenge but then it's just flipping in position really not getting very mobile i'd like this either Either play that post and play it more, I guess, locked down on the goal line, or full send, full commit to that challenge, get up in the face of the person that's trying to take a shot. Potentially, you get a deflection or you just bump them off of track, shut Lunar down. 
something obviously take notes for next game because this one well it's about that's it the last few seconds are going to tick off the clock as teo clears it out with that ball touchdown can they get an extra shot on goal or will they just let it touch down and they do but a 6-0 statement victory for the fusion i mean that is an absolute impressive response right there yeah, an incredible response because after just dropping that one to five two, where your defense kind of looks in shambles, like I said, the fusion they their defense looked a little bit uh, lackluster in game number two. Going into game three, their defense really stepped up to just put in and make the other team come out with a goose egg on the scoreboard. And then on the other side, their offense really started to get back in the rhythm. They started to understand. Okay, we know what the Black Bears trying to do. We figured it out, and then they just bore it on. You see the replays of these first three games and really both teams coming out very hot in game one and game two the fusion with that 3-1 victory in game one and then the bears responding 5-2 in game two but wow I, I mean talk about taking control of a game the number one seed showing exactly why they're the number one seed in bob jones high school the fusion with a 6-0 victory and now they lead this seven best of seven series 2-1. I mean, they're two games away from walking home with a championship. And, and you can kind of get the feeling that that last few seconds was that momentum shift for their team. Yeah, and that's a huge swing here for the Fusion. They're just trying to really take this one by the horns. Like you said, this is an undefeated regular season. They dropped two games going through the playoffs, but they still make it through, obviously, winning out all of the series to get to the championship. But they've lost two, now three games across the entire season from start to now. And that's an incredible feat. And to be able to have that level of success, your expectation should be nothing less than walking away with the title. Absolutely. Well, Eplex is your local esports and virtual reality arena with a restaurant and bar. Play, train, and compete in tournaments and leagues for players of every level in every game. Eplex welcomes gamers of all ages. Enjoy our state of the art virtual reality in wireless individual pods, one of a kind racing simulator, and as a group, you can try in our multiplayer pod. Now, this is actually one of those things, too, that is extremely impressive for all of these players. You know, you talk about which grades they're going into, how long they've played in this play versus league, when they're going to graduate and their next step of gameplay. These are players that we probably will see again. I mean, we talked about Lunar. This is his fifth play versus season. And, and this is just in high school. I mean, wait until he gets into the collegiate level and, and the teams that he could be recruited by. I mean, I'm so excited to see how they're going to continue out throughout this tournament here in game four starting now. Yeah, and on the other side, you look at the Black Bears, a couple of sophomores and a junior. Like, this is a team in a championship game as a three seed that had just as much success as the Fusion in the one seed. So being able to have this, being that young, another team, you're probably going to see these players come back a couple of times. They're going to be in the same position that Lunar is. You know, they're going to play four or five seasons, four play versus, and we'll see them two, three, four, five times in their high school career until they get to those notable collegiate programs tail with the shot on goal for the fusion and the fusion have really applied some pressure as jaw tries to make something happen for the black bears puts it into the offensive zone and now you see the rotation of the fusions tails back lunar's back every single player has full boost for a little bit there every player had full boost you see a big demo by jaw hiroki now playing it along the boards low korean tries to clear it back into the offensive zone you do see the car change by lunar and jaw putting it into the corner just so his teammates can clear it out and that's lunar tail and doll all fighting for it jaw went up for it but tail was there to make the defensive stop low korean now putting it into the corner of this offensive attack for the black bears and a lot a lot more pressure by Ooh. the black bears as that was a little shot but hiroki right there by the fusion for the defensive stop lunar now moves forward big time demo in front of the goal that bounces off the wall as it's got to get cleared out and it does oh my gosh last second save by the fusion 
as the bears were on a really really quick attack on that switch i mean really that that offensive switch happened from that clear within seconds it was a 1v2 uh, very quick attempt on the other end and we've had a couple of really close nail biters op opportunities on both sides for both teams here just trying to find the one see if they get the put back lunar off the crossbar the framework again just not doing any favors here today in the alabama championship but the amount of chances and opportunities both these teams have had so far and the fact we're still at zeros almost halfway through the game is very surprising and also very telling of how well these defenses are playing i mean you look at game one fusion took that 3-1 and then the response by the black bears coming back to take game two 5-2 now fusion they won that last you know 6-0 pounding of a game but the response of the black bears has been so incredibly well you see the aggression the attack utilization of, of demos and really getting a lot more physical in those plays trying to keep it on the attack jaw comes up with 205 remaining beautiful little pass to little korean he centers it up for jaw jaw with a beautiful shot into the lower left and now the black bears with a one goal lead yeah korean just enough of a little boost touch off the wall to be able to send that one by the defense just bites got caught coming out it's one of the toughest things about using the merc is the sense that it is a little bit slower not quite as agile as something like the octane or the fennec but just trying to basically have that brute force because that merc when it hits it hits and it is a very large hitbox to be able to stop a lot of those very straight shots unfortunately that one not a straight shot just playing it off the backboard off the bounce jaw now on the attack again for the black bears doll throws it into the corner a little korean with a shot that's going to go just Ooh. wide as that could have been a lethal little korean now going back up for the center and you see lunar just utilizing every bit of boost that he had to get that save oh my goodness 121 remaining and this is a much closer game doll with a big save hiroki with the shot on goal now lunar going aerial trying to keep it out of his zone but ja is right there you see all of the fusion have rotated back but almost all of them were out of boost for about five seconds so you see how quickly the rotations are in effect and now with under a minute to go the black bears with a one goal lead they're still on the attack yeah, try to find an angle here the fusion uh, a little bit of miscommunications on the defensive side we've seen a couple of instances where they kind of run into each other it's a little bit of a miscommunication but they haven't really had anything to pay because it's just a long booming clear to give possession back to the black bears anyways but and they're fortunate that there haven't been those miscommunications or those falters when the black bears are in the attacking zone but still 30 seconds one goal left and the way that the black bears have been playing on the offensive side a little concerning in the sense you got to hope to find something here now 19 seconds to go in game four black bears with a one goal lead it's still a live ball no matter what even if it touches triple zero if that ball is up and does not touch the ground it'll be a live ball so you'll see the fusion now try to play it up and keep it can they do it that's going to touch down and the black bears answer back in game four and that was a a very tight game now we've seen you know the blowout game last game by the fusion with a 6-0 victory but this felt a lot more equal as the black bears were able to respond very well defensively absolutely and going from giving up six goals to all of a sudden giving up just the one goal you know maybe there's a, a point of conversation about the fact that you have a swap over to the merc for lunar but you know that's not as dynamic of an offensive vehicle as a choice so you know maybe there's something in there but yeah the defense of the black bears really stepped up they really started to apply the pressure there really wasn't a lot of presence in their defensive zone they were able to keep the ball at midfield or on the other side to be attacking against the fusion so maybe seeing some more altered alterations to the strategy from the fusion side because obviously what they did in game three worked what they did in game four did not and looking at a best of seven series tied 2-2 now, you're going into these final possibly three games with 
all of the pressure you've warmed up you know exactly what your game plan is you've got the feel of the other team you've got the feel of what your team is going for now it's just down to execution and i think that is what we're going to see here in game five is both of these teams executing on a very championship level yeah and they are playing very well and i if, if we do see the merc come back well lunar okay so the merc's gone so this is the fusion going back now to being a little more on the other side trying to apply some more pressure they have kind of gone away from that physical play style they don't need to do the bumps they don't need to get in with the demos they decided to let's go back to the offensive game plan let's try to produce points let's try to take this series here and now put us on series point going into game number six tail in the corner for the fusion that gets cleared out by the Black Bears and a good defensive stop. Hiroki is right there. Lil Korean now playing it off the wall. Dahl comes up and is able to keep it centered. But does that go centered just for Lunar? A little stutter step. And Lunar, a lot of really sneaky handles right there. Passing through a defender. Ja Ooh. with a shot on goal. That goes up both Ooh. crossbars. 4-10 remaining. Lil Korean chips it into the corner. Tail goes aerial for it to get it cleared and possibly centered. This ball is floating, and I'm telling you, both players went up for that shot. I mean, Ja, with uh, with just a hair closer, that would have gone off the post and in that opportunity for the Black Bears. It wishes he could have that back. And a little Ooh. misstep now. That was just a slight misstep by a little Korean yeah. coming off the wall here as he just barely floats that up and Hiroki capitalizes on a small mistake and now the fusion with a one goal lead with 347 remaining and that's a very rare mistake because Lil Korean's one of the players that I give credit to seemingly has the best quote-unquote game sense in this series you know every time Jaw goes up uh, or every time you see Lunar go up you know Lil Korean's always there ready for a rebound ready for a challenge or something of that nature just always has a really good idea of what is happening on the field so that is a very rare mistake and Fusion being able to step up capitalize on that take the 1-0 lead because we saw out of the last game one goal might be all you need the defense of both of these teams has been extremely well you see the demo along the wall and now Hiroki with zero boost has to pick up some of the midfield boost there that's a long clear by Lunar off the wall Dahl now gets it back to midfield for the Black Bears watches both teams rotate quickly and there's a lot of boost being used by the fusion but that's staying in the fusion's defensive zone and they don't want it there as Ja with a shot on goal from the corner a little Korean now tries to center cool. it up and Dahl get to it to keep it in he plays it off the wall Lunar now taps that as jaw rotated back and gets it back cleared Hiroki can't get enough of it that stays midfield little Korean now with a shot what a save wow. by Lunar coming out of nowhere Dahl now coming in to the offensive zone everybody rotates back you see both teams picking up boost and with 218 remaining in this game I mean, a one goal game just isn't enough cushion to say whether or not the Fusion are going to be able to walk away with this. And that last attack by the Black Bears, a really solid one that all started and probably would have finished with the goal had Lunar not gotten a demo at midfield on Jaw right after he picked up the full boost. The Black Bears were in a prime position for a full attack. Instead, the Fusion's defense steps up and is able to stop it. But now all of a sudden, the Fusion's defense, a little lackluster, caught snoozing in midfield and a little over the top even things up see a little korean just tap that over tail i mean just a beautiful shot from almost the whole field 151 remaining in this game we got a tie game now caribou we got a tie game we got a tie series we got a great one as in a best of three and this game is so important you got to be able to step up and take this one put yourself on series point this is absolutely going to be a deal breaker for one of these teams if, if they don't have the mental fortitude to be able to handle the pressure of going up against a team on series point well just the history of this series so far each game has gone back and forth game one to the fusion game two to black bears game three to the fusion game four to the black bears so at a tie game with 114 remaining i mean it could go either way and not only that 
the other team might respond and we could see game seven in no time. I'm not gonna lie, I kind of expect to see a game seven. <laughs> like, I feel like both these teams can handle the pressure of being down 3-2 because at that point it's just another game and what's one more? Just take one at a time. Anyways, both these teams have had huge amounts of success across the regular season and in the playoffs. They'd be able to take it one at a time, be able to take this in to a game seven. That's probably what will happen. Big time demo in the goal of the Black Bears, but Ja gets it cleared out. Can he Ooh. keep it all the way down? Lunar tries to clear it out. Ja picks up that full boost. And now you see a traffic jam as Little Korean comes in and hits both the car and the ball. Doll tries to clear it back out. Hiroki, zero boost, but still on the attack. He picks up that full boost. And now can we see a shot on goal? Ooh. That goes wide. That could have been dangerous. 12 seconds remaining, a shot on goal, and Hiroki oh! just beats the defender. You see how quickly he pops up as a defender was there, just could not get to it. Dahl was just about to boost up and take that, but instead Hiroki powers it in wow. with 11 seconds to go, and now the fusion with the one goal lead on this game five. 10 seconds to go. Can the Black Bears tie it up? Again, once it hits triple zeros, as long as that ball is in the air, it stays a live ball. Will it touch down? They keep it up. And now the Black Bears on the attack. Can little Korean play it oh, off the wall? Dahl keeps it into the air, but that is almost oh. going to touch down. Jaw with no boost had to clip it, and oh. Dahl can't get to it as the fusion take game five. I mean, talk about going down to the wire with how quickly the the momentum shifted with 11 seconds left for Hiroki to come in and get that goal I mean it was just a beautiful center from Lunar and you gotta just admit that the fusion in when it counts most I mean they showed up they absolutely have to and you when you have that one come down into it that's the two minute warning that's the two minute drive it's the last second the buzzer beater whatever you <laughs> want to call it whatever you want to make the analogy to it's a great play and i really i respect what jod tried to do tried to come out of the goal tried to challenge on this center and disrupt the pass half a second too late and on the on the goal line doll again at the same point i talk about doll just is in the air but unfortunately gets caught in, in an exposed position because at that point you can't challenge you can't get in the face of the person that's trying to take the shot and little koreans on the back post just trying to defend anything coming from back there so the first one is a good challenge the second one is unfortunately leaves the defense exposed hiroki just puts on a beautiful target right on target in that upper side so you cannot get there and that's a championship team. That's what champions do. And now they're one game away from that. In game six coming up right here. I mean, this is the first elimination game. And Black Bears are going to respond. I, I mean, we've seen them respond each and yeah. every single time that they've lost a game. They've responded very quickly and very well in the next game. The Austin High School in the gray. The Black Bears looking to stay alive and push it to game seven. Bob Jones High School, the Fusion in the orange, looking to finish things out here in this game six and be the AHSAA champions for this season. I mean, both teams have done an, a phenomenal job, so hats off to the competition because talk about a back and forth. Game one going to the Fusion, game two to the Black Bears, game three to the Fusion, game four to the Black Bears, game five to the Fusion, and now the Black Bears getting the first goal centering it by jaw and you see doll just coming up over the defenders 424 remaining I, I mean can we get more back and forth than this this is exactly what you'd expect this is exactly what we anticipated and that's exactly where we're at right now and a little defensive miscue where hiroki just kills momentum the lunar's out of position and can't get a nose on and like you saw, Jaw just goes right over the top to put the shot on, put the goal. It's great for the Black Bears to be able to rebound like this, to still have the mental fortitude being up against the wall in series point and still able to strike back, take it one game at a time. Because at this point, it's going to come down. If this is it, it'll be just a best of one. Lunar playing it in the corner. Dahl is able to pick up that boost and then clear it out just enough, but met by Hiroki. And you see how quickly the rotations as that Ooh. ball has a little bit of English off the oh. post. 
Is anybody going to trail it? Lunar has to follow through and just tap it as he gets demoed. Hiroki now with some okay. moves. Oh my goodness. Hiroki absolutely breaks the ankles of the defenders and finds a way to put it in the back of the net to tie things up 335. A little crossover, a little fancy footwork left to right between the legs. Alley-oop up and in. And yeah, that's just a phenomenal individual play by Hiroki. Great dribbling and great control to be able to take that from one side to the other and finish that one off. Fantastic showcase of skill right there. Oh my goodness. 318 remaining in this game six of the AHSAA Championship Finals. And Hiroki... Honestly, I thought that was going to be a shot on goal. That was very much wide, but instead, Lunar is able to play the rebound. Great defense by Lil Korean, keeping that out of the goal. Now, Ja, can he keep okay, it ja. up in the air as Ja goes aerial? And he answers back himself for the Black Bears to take a 2-1 lead with just under three minutes remaining in this game. Hiroki went from 70 to 0 boost, just trying to get back, trying to be able to challenge that one. Jaw does a great job to control that one, keep yourself and the shot on target, put you back up 2-1. Be another one where probably just going to be a one goal separation between these two, so you have to take every single advantage you possibly can. All I know is I saw a sheesh in chat, and <laughs> I think that's the only way to describe the gameplay right now. Both teams absolutely duking it out as a little korean oh. with a shot on goal tail yeah. with a big time save 232 remaining you see lunar going aerial Ooh. met by doll challenge. and now Ja coming up midfield hiroki's there Ja, no boost has to rotate back that's cleared all the way into the attacking zone of the black bears little korean playing patiently uses some boost to get back lunar now with a shot on goal Ja gets up and now Teo has to play it as that was not enough on it. That still gets cleared out. Is Ja going to be able to play it off the wall? A beautiful Good shot. Fight. Bounce, Hiroki. Oh. oh my goodness. The defense, the back and forth, the aerial movement, the shots on goal. Caribou. I, I mean, it's anybody's ball game right now. That was a great setup on the other end too. Just to spike that one down and wait for your teammate to follow up. Unfortunately, teammates just don't come through. And Jaws left alone, stranded on the line in a 1v2. And Hiroki's going to step up and take that one. You see the swing and the miss on the front side. No one else is coming back. Jaws flying out of frame anyways. Fusion just stepping up. Take this one. We got a tie game. Yeah, here the splash of the celebration goal. And I love that about Rocket League integrating so many exciting customizable things for these players. And with 138 remaining in this game, a tie game as Hiroki Ooh. just catches the defense okay i mean they i mean he comes up picks up that boost plays it off the wall picks up a little bit of extra boost and nobody's in goal great shot on the mark fusion with a one goal lead 135 remaining in this game are just moments away from being named the ahsaa champions certainly can't count the black bears out because we've seen how fast they can strike back but hiroki done a great job being the hero right now to give the, the fusion the lead in this one. Picked, picked the pocket, made some great reads, and able to get these shots on target. Fusion in a great place. The Black Bears just have to find an answer, but don't let the pressure get to them. I think they will play their game as Dahl moving into the attacking zone for the Black Bears. We're coming up on the final 60 seconds of game six. Ja keeps that inside. Does he go up? As there was a little bit of a miscommunication, it looked like Lunar accidentally bumped Hiroki out. Hiroki has zero boost. Lunar now with a full clear. Can Ja get back to it? He does, but doesn't quite get it. Teo playing it along the boards. Dahl comes in to help. Hiroki comes in as well. Lunar clears it back off the wall. Plays an aerial center. That's centered up. Teo flips it up. They're just playing with it now in the air as little Korean finally comes uh, all the way through. Okay. Hiroki can't get to oh. it, and Ja gets the glance to tie things up with 31 seconds remaining. Oh my gosh, Caribou. I really thought that Hiroki was going to be in a position that was good enough, was going to get to it first, but yeah, Ja just come in and just snuck in right there underneath Hiroki to get that little extra touch on, a little extra pepper on top, and a tie game again, 30 seconds to go. Gonna see some extra time, some free Rocket League here?
We just might. 20 seconds remaining. Ja tries to clear it out. Dalt utilizing the wall. Lunar keeping it in. And again, both of these teams continually on the attack. Great defense. Great offense so far in this series. We've seen from both teams. And the Black Bears just trying to find a way to get it cleared out as that bounces up. Zeros across the board. Little Korean keeps it up. That plays off the wall. And now we are into extra time. 3-3. Three, three. Can the Black Bears force a game seven? Can the Fusion put one down and become the Alabama State champions? Right Ooh. here, right now. This is Rocket League at its finest. Fusion had a really good chance right there after the demo. A couple numbers advantage, but they just didn't quite get the finish on that. Trying to obviously end this one very early off the kickoff. And Hiroki has done everything so far. Hiroki's going to be the one to seal the deal. Gives him at least two. Gives him the go-ahead goal in regular time. And the go-ahead goal in extra time to crown the fusion. The one seed to cap off the undefeated season. The championship. I mean, you see how quickly things can change from the, the start to finish, it was back and forth. And that game was so incredible for as both teams continually fought for it. And we're gonna see some replays right here. And Caribou, honestly, we can capitalize on the fact that both of these teams deserve to be here. Hats off to the Black Bears. As we look at these replays, I, I mean, some of these plays were just absolutely beautifully executed. Yeah, it's phenomenal from both sides. I mean, the. Black Bears able to bounce back in their position where they, you know, they drop a game six to zero and they immediately answer back to game four where they win a just one goal, a 1 0 scoreline. That's all they had to do, but they took care of business to get that one goal and then shut down the Fusion's offense the rest of the time. The Black Bears did a phenomenal job trying to answer back. They nearly got away with game six. They had the lead there as well, but the Fusion, when they needed to, just really stepped up to take advantage. Hiroki made some phenomenal plays, phenomenal reads to get the game tied, give them the go-ahead and the extra time goal. Hiroki absolutely gets to wear a little extra something on top there for that last game performance. I mean, you, you gotta just simply respect the fact that we got to see some extra time and that's sometimes not the occurrence in these as you look at the stat line we had a 6-0 game yet we still yeah. went into this game six with an extra time 3-3 and the fusion come out on top so they will be your ahsaa champions this season from play versus i mean an excellent year by everybody and congratulations to them the number one seed showing exactly why they're the number one seed yeah and they got a plenty of opportunities to repeat 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 once again <laughs> they're still young they're gonna come back next season you expect to see them right back in this position after an undefeated season after a championship they're gonna come back swinging and they're not gonna take any other answer other than a one seed coming into this fall Absolutely. Congratulations one more time to Bob Jones High School, the Fusion. You are the champions this season. From Play Versus, I'm the Doxology alongside me, Caribou. That's going to do it for us, but stick around as we're going to go into League of Legends AHSAA Championships in a bit.